What's going on, everybody in the VC? Craig here with a thank you video to my brother Travis, final on video, for the killer VC LT that I just got today. Um, totally fucking stoked. Got some great shit to show you guys. So let's get right into it. Don't want to make this one a long one. Try to make it a short one. Not too much rambling. Nah. Alright. Hope everybody's doing well. It's Friday. Been an off and on shitty great day today in terms of weather. I've had some great digs. Got some killer shit to show you guys. I'm trying to enjoy my day off. The only day off I get. Yeah, I take it back. I just work four days, I get a day off, and then I work six days and get three days off. Constant rotation of my schedule, but you know, shit happens. Oh, what's playing in the background? Modern Times by Bob Dylan. Great, great album from 2006. Um, picked it, scored, scored this one at, at uh, Goodwill this morning. I haven't really, uh, haven't really digested it since 2006. You know, just kind of listened to it. It's like, oh, that's okay. But now I'm really getting into it, enjoying it. Great, great album. All right, so Travis, final and video. What needs to be said about this guy? I know I've talked a ton about Travis in my videos, but I've just got to really say, once again, one of my favorite dudes here in the VC, and I know I shouldn't play favorites, but I love the dude. Like a brother to me, you know, like a great, great friend. We're both on similar humor level. We talk to each other almost daily on Facebook. It's insane. Great though, it's, I can almost guarantee I know when I'm gonna get that first message from Travis. And I know some nights, you know, we kind of go off and on, you know, a couple of, you know, messages here, a couple there, you know. I know for me, I just, I, you know, there's times where, you know, my fiance's awake and she wants to, you know, watch TV or something like that. So I, you know, obviously want to spend time with her, and try to make myself more available. I can't be glued to the computer all night. As great as it would be, I can't do it, you know. You can't do that to your partner. Um, but uh, there'll be times where she's sleeping and I'll be on the computer with him till like two, three in the morning for me and just, just talking about anything and everything. I love that. He's a great, great dude. Always looking out for stuff for me and found me some killer, killer shit. So let's get right into it. Uh, Send this great note. Always love the cool notes. Um, Sent me a few cassettes here, all of which everything I knew, I knew everything that was coming. He was, we kind of talked. He already. I'll get into it when I get to it. How about that? All right. So the first three, um, we had actually talked on the phone because he had. Uh, this is probably a good week, week and a half. Uh, let's say almost. You know, let's say more like two weeks ago when he uh, found these for me. He had sent me a picture art uh, on the phone. And I couldn't see it because my phone sucks. So we ended up chatting on the phone for a little bit. And he was telling, rallying me off the titles. And as he was rallying off these, I'm like, okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, fuck, yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, one of which, the first one, uh, ended up being a dud. Yellow and black attack by Striper. Definitely pissed about that, but still cool to have it. You know, maybe I'll at least be able to find one or two songs that actually maybe don't play with the Warble. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it uh, plays. I haven't had a chance to play all these yet. Um, but still really cool. It'll make a good placeholder. Nice artwork, too, you know, to kind of mount it up somewhere around here. So I'm slowly running out of room around here. By slowly, I mean fast. Uh, this one was really, really cool to find. The Legacy by Testament. Great, great thrash. Underrated band. Do not get enough credit. We'll talk about the big four. The big four in thrash. But Testament and Overkill do not get enough attention. It needs to be the big six. Easy, easy. Uh, so there was a slight uh, dropout in this one. But other than that, works great. So, very excited to give that one a spin. And one for the novelty factor. The Simpsons Sing the Blues. I remember when this one came out in 1990. Uh, I, w I really didn't watch the show at that point because I was only four at that point. Um, but I do remember seeing a lot of you know, me Simpsons memorabilia around. And I remember when this came out specifically because I remember the CD long box when they still sold CDs in the long boxes and stuff. And so that was really, really cool. 
So this has got that nostalgia factor. I do remember too the Bartman being around a lot back in that in that time. Uh, the next two were ones that I uh, had duplicates of that I figured, okay, well, yeah, definitely one like those. Uh, this is a possible upgrade for me. Like I said, I haven't listened to it yet, but Wish by The Cure. Very, very cool. I would picked up a copy a while back, but mine had some, some dropouts and stuff like that, so hopefully that should be a solid one. And Don't Tell a Soul by The Replacements. Now, I don't want to give anything away, but if you haven't yet, Check out Travis's most recent final update. He picked up some killer, killer titles by the replacements. And quick side note, any of you out there, I'm doing a VC call out, you know, call the all vinyl. I need help. If you have a record store by you, something like that, whatever. Maybe if you even, you know, you're an eBay or you happen to see this. I'm on the hunt for any replacements vinyl. Now when I say any, I mean any because I don't have any. So I mean I'm talking about sorry ma, hoot nanny, let it be, Tim, please to meet me, don't tell a soul. Uh, I'll shoot down that sure that one probably had a vinyl release. I'm not hundred percent on that one. But you know, it's neither here nor there on that. I have been on such a huge, huge replacements kick over the last, really, you know, it's been kind of over time, you know, like the older I get, the more I'll come back to them and find a few more songs that I like and start absorbing a little bit more, but really this past week, I've listened to the album Let It Be about seven or eight times, especially in the last couple of days, I've just been on this huge replacements kick and really absorbing and it, I have to stop listening to it because I'm torturing myself knowing full well I can't afford to buy a copy of Let It Be on eBay especially because I can't justify a hundred bucks on an album right now. I just can't. So basically I'm kind of putting a call out there that now I know there's Rhino reissues of Tim and Pleased. That's cool but I'd rather have OGs. And I know the prices you know pretty much I could probably get both of those for pretty reasonable prices but if you happen to have a record store that has some replacements and they're relatively reasonably priced, I mean, we're not talking 50 bucks for, you know, one album. That's just outrageous right now. I, I can't justify that. But, you know, we're talking cheaper prices. Send me a PM. Hit me up on Facebook if you want to, you know, connect with me on there. Whatever. Keep me in mind on those and hit me up and immediately pick it up for me and just, you know, message me, whatever, get in contact with me, and we'll set up, you know, the deal from there. And I'll be more than glad to pay you back because I am dying to find some replacements on vinyl. I just you don't see them here. I've never seen them as long as I can remember in all the years I've been dating. So, any replacements help is definitely, definitely needed here. So, definitely keep me in mind. Uh, but Don't Tell a Soul, great album. Most known for the uh, song I'll Be You. Very, very cool. Alright, on to the two pieces of vinyl. Here's where it gets even better. Blows everything out of the water. Now, both of these I knew were coming. And we'll kind of get into the story about the other one. But the first one he sent, uh, he had uh, recently upgraded his copy of this album and he had set this aside for me and let me know that he had it for me. And it's Scratch by Peter Gabriel. Very, very good solo album here. His second solo album. Stoked beyond belief to finally have this on vinyl. Like it's just it's one that I never see in the wild and eBay yet, you know pricey on some things and I just I'm not about to try and you know break the bank for it. Great album but just not worth me trying to uh, you know not being able to pay one of my bills. You know it doesn't get that expensive. Um, but very very glad to have this. Thank you brother. Very much. Cannot wait to finally uh, have that you know spending on the turntable. And now this last one. Total fucking grail beyond grails. One that I've been needing for a very long time. I mean, in the, let's say, like about 15, 16 years of vinyl collecting and digging and everything else, I've never seen this album in the wild, ever. See it on eBay, definitely seen, you know, originals of it go for insane prices, and even, you know, later issues and stuff like that. Um, 
can still go for prices, and I'm like, I can't justify that. I've seen some go for pretty cheap, but then they weren't auctions. I weren't. Wa I wasn't watching, so I got screwed. I screwed by myself for not paying attention. But anyway, Travis has had my wish list for a while, and knew I was on the hunt for this. Uh, when he went down to his hunting hole recently, found this for me, picked it up, then texted me and told me that he uh, had found an album for me and was really excited and everything else. And I think we both wanted to keep it a surprise, but as it turns out, I'm not good with surprises. So I finally just had him tell me, because I was like, well, you know, what if I end up coming across it? I didn't know what it was at all. So I'm like, well, what if I come across it? And then I buy it, and you sending me a copy, and then I'm like, oh, what the hell? I, I don't want to, you know, mesh here. Um, once he sent me the picture, I about lost my mind. I was at work, too, and I'm like, fuck, that's awesome. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I am, I was that guy in High Fidelity who did not have Blonde on Blonde. Did I ever admit to it? No, I was smarter than that. Especially after that movie. <laughs> but yes, Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan. Cool little hype sticker. Over the track listing and whatnot. Ten bucks he found this for. And this is, you know, covers definitely, uh, Seen some better days, but uh, that that didn't bother me in the slightest. I wasn't gonna be like, oh well. I was really hoping for a near mint one, you know, because I'm a greedy fucker. No, no, not at all. I'm very, very excited to have this in the collection. And I've never. I'm gonna show you guys the vinyl here. Vinyl's in really nice shape. Later, uh, later Columbia pressing. So I'm guessing. Uh, Probably mid 70s, something like that. Now, this is one I can definitely say. I know I've said it in a few different videos in the past, you know, when I've shown something going, ah, I probably, you know, may have seen it, you know, or my years of dating, but didn't know what I was, you know, passing on. This is definitely not one of those. This is not one of those albums. I mean, I've this. This cover is infamous for me and embedded in my brain for years. You know, I, I've known this image for way too long to have ever passed on it in the wild, ever. And trust me, I, I, could not, I could not pass this up. Like, I don't know how, how in the hell that, you know, in all the years I've been digging, you know, all the garage sales, Goodwills, record stores, antique malls, etc. that I've been to and I've never seen it before in my life. It's fucking nuts. But, we all know it's a classic. Don't have to talk about it. Fucking awesome to finally have that on vinyl and fill that gaping, gaping hole that's been in my Dylan collection for way too long. So now, chapter closed on the 60s part. Now on to filling in the holes in the 70s and the 80s and onward. Very, very cool. Very happy. Very appreciative. Thank you so much, Travis. That does it for all the VCLT that he sent me. Couldn't be any happier. I really can't. Had some great digs from today. Some uh, garage sales, Goodwills, Antique Mall, uh, Record Store Find. Got some eBay stuff coming here soon, which I'm very excited to show you guys that. And who knows what else could pop up. We don't know. But anyway, I just want to say thank you again to Travis so much, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the man. You're my brother. I love you. I appreciate it big time. And I just want to say another big, big thanks to my, all my subscribers, new and old. Great to have you guys as subscribers. Love the VC. Love everybody in it. You guys mean the world to me. And I'm so, so honored to be a part of this and to see new people, and especially there are, you know, newer people that are getting introduced to this great, great forum of ours through some of my videos and through other people's and like, oh, I saw, I'm new, I just saw so-and-so's video, yours was related to it, so I checked yours out, really enjoy what you're seeing, you know, what you're showing, you know, just wanted to drop by and say hi. It's like, wow, you know, it's, it's the same thing I was doing, you know, I saw LJ's videos through Brandon and pretty much gave him the similar, you know, comment. 
you know, well over two and a half years ago. It's just crazy, you know, I'm on the other side of the fence now. But great, great to be a part of the vinyl community. Very, very happy right now. Because I've got blonde on blonde. So anyway, let the high fidelity jokes begin down below in the comments. Because I know they're going to happen. And hope everybody has a great and safe weekend. The weekend's upon us. And I will see you guys in the next update. Oh, uh, and some contests that are going on right now. Uh, Greeno, Lee, Maggie's still going on. I think that one ends here in less than a week. Uh, a few days. You got a few days left if you want to get into Maggie's contest. Um, Miko's got a contest going on. I want you to get in on that. That one's a tough one, so that one's going to take me a few days. Um, lots of other great contests going on, so everybody check out those channels and get involved. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.